Hi there and welcome to this gentle yoga practice where we'll be lying on the floor moving through the body and opening up the body and releasing and relaxing the body. You can do this at any time of the day but you may particularly enjoy doing this in the evening just before getting ready for bed. So come on down to your mat and we're going to come onto our back. So just gently lying down through the vertebra all the way onto the floor, extending the legs out. And then we're going to reach the arms up behind us, interlacing the hands, pressing the palms away. And I want you just to close off your eyes for a moment. Take a deep breath in through the nose. Filling up the ribs and then sighing the breath out. Releasing any tension in the body, releasing the shoulders. Inhale. And sigh the breath out. Do that one more round. Relaxing the jaw, relaxing the forehead, relaxing the shoulders. Sliding the hands down and around, down by your side. Taking a nice deep breath in here, releasing the toes, inhaling. And exhaling. Inhale. And then as we gently release, we're going to slowly draw the right knee up into the chest. Give yourself a little hug. Inhale. And exhale. Take your left hand to your right knee. Take your right arm alongside you in cactus position and draw that knee over the body, looking over your right shoulder. Inhale. And exhale. Allow the body to release, relax in the bottom. Still keeping the shoulders to the floor. Inhaling. And exhaling. Slowly unravel, bringing that foot round to the floor and then draw the left knee into the chest. And then take that left foot over the right knee and then from here let's draw the right knee into the chest. Inhale. Exhale. Inhaling and exhaling. So really becoming mindful of the breath, relaxing the shoulders down. Release the foot down. Take the arms into cactus position and release the left foot over to the right hand side as we look to our left side. Inhale and exhale. Inhale. And exhale. Inhale, draw the knee back up and over. Bring that left knee back into the chest. Extend the right leg out in front of you. Inhaling. And releasing that breath. Take your right hand to your left knee. Left arm into cactus. Draw the knee over the body as you exhale, releasing the body. Inhale and just notice any tightness or tension in the body. Inhale down into those areas of tightness, expanding the space and release and try just to release and let go. Take a couple more rounds of breath here. And then slowly unravel, coming back round. Grounding that left foot down, drawing the right knee into the chest. Take that right leg across the left knee, taking our figure of four, drawing the knee in, inhaling. Keeping the right foot flexed, exhaling. Inhale. And exhale. 
release the left foot down, take the arms in the cactus, release the right leg over to your left by taking that twist, looking over your right shoulder, e inhale, and release. Take two more breaths here. Slowly unravel, draw the knee up and over. From here, take the knees in towards the chest, taking the hands behind the thighs, gentle, happy baby here. So we're not overextending at this point. I just want you to draw the knees back, up towards the shoulders, inhale. And exhale. Now either remain here, or if you wish to, you could grab hold of the feet, and just taking a deeper stretch here, still keeping the heels towards the bottom. So we're not extending out, inhale. Exhale, trying to keep that lower back pressed into the floor. And if you want to take full happy baby, feet up to the sky, inhaling. And exhaling. Good. From here, take the feet together, pressing the knees out to the side. So in this kind of upside down Baddha Konasana, inhale, press the knees away from you, inhaling and exhaling. Finding that nice deep stretch into the inner thighs. Feel that connection between the feet, almost creating a circle of energy through the body. Two more rounds of breath here. And then slowly draw the knees back into the chest. Give yourself a hug. Big squeeze. Unravel. From here, take the right leg over the left leg. Now, if this is too much for you, just take a figure of four again, and you're going to bring the foot in, but this time the leg is raised slightly. If you can, though, we take bow pose, so you're going to grab hold of the feet and just draw the feet down to the floor. Inhaling and exhaling. Really think about actually opening up into the glutes but still keeping the lower back on the floor don't have it so that your knees are coming into the chest if you want to deepen the stretch take hold of the feet themselves pulling the feet down towards the earth inhale and exhale relax those shoulders relax the elbows two more breaths here last one Unravel, switch sides, same thing. Again, maybe grabbing the feet, maybe grabbing the shins, or again, take figure for four. Unravel. From here, slide the legs down to the floor. And we're going to roll over to our right hand side, coming onto our tummy. And we're going to place the elbows on the floor, coming into Sphinx Pose. Inhale, lift the chest up, roll the shoulders back. Deep breath in. And then as you exhale, draw the elbows out to the side, coming into Makrasana. Release the forehead to the floor. Inhaling. Exhaling, give the hips a little wiggle side to side. And then from here, take the left hand out in front of you and draw the right hand around to your foot, taking a stretch into the front of the thigh, inhaling. And exhale, and as you exhale, press the hips down into the floor. Inhale. And gently exhale, release. 
Take that right knee out to the side of the body, looking to the opposite direction. Inhaling. And exhaling. Two more rounds of breath, feeling the connection of the belly to the earth. Feeling that gentle massage into the tummy. And then slide that leg all the way back down. Take the arms out to the side. Take Place your right hand alongside the chest, looking to your right side, taking the right leg over. Opening up the chest, opening up the shoulders. Inhale. And exhale. Inhale. Exhale, unravel. Come back into Sphinx. Inhale, draw the chest up. And exhale, release back down. Give the hips a little wiggle. Inhaling and exhaling. Take the right arm ahead of you. Grab hold of the left foot. Take a deep breath in and exhale, release. Inhale. And as you exhale, press the hips down. Inhale. Exhale. Gently release. Take the left knee out to the side of the mat. Bring your head to the opposite direction this time. Release. Inhale. And exhale. One more breath. And unravel, slide the leg down. Extend the leg arms out to the side. Take the left hand into the chest. Take the right arm behind you. Release, take the left leg behind. Inhaling. And exhaling. Inhale. And exhale. Unravel. Bring the arms back round. Take the hands by the chest this time. Roll the shoulders back. Inhale for Cobra. Exhale, release. One more time, roll the shoulders back, inhale for cobra. Exhale, release. This time, inhale, coming up, take the knees out to the side, feet together, walking it back into child's pose. Inhale. And exhale. Walk the hands over to your left hand side. And over to your right. Feeling that stretch into the back. From here, walk the hands back to center. Slide the body forward. Coming back down into your arm across and now release the forehead to the floor. Inhale. And exhale. Two more rounds of breath to finish this practice. And you may either remain here, or you can finish up now. Hopefully just feeling that gentle stretch, either ready for your bed, or for the start of the day, or whenever you choose to do this. I hope you feel rested. I hope you feel relaxed. And I hope you feel open. Have a wonderful rest of the evening or the day ahead of you. I look forward to seeing you again soon. Namaste.